Well, folks, the trans activism has now infused pretty much every area of our culture. Harry Potter, or at least the guy who plays Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, apparently he has now decided that it's better to be Mary Potter. He's actually promoting trans propaganda on behalf of the Trevor Project. You have Daniel Radcliffe, who, has he done anything since Harry Potter? I'm not aware that he's done anything of, of note since Harry Potter. Uh, trying to uh, promote the, uh, the Trevor Project, which is a trans the kids organization. Hi, I'm Dan Radcliffe. Um, this week, I was incredibly fortunate to get to meet six young people who uh, agreed to come and share their stories with us, and also to have a conversation about allyship and, and the people in their lives who have shown up for them and made a positive impact on, on their lives and their journeys. So yeah, I'm excited to share that conversation with you. I would love to talk to you all if you're depending on how much you want to say, but like, I'd love to know about all your journeys and like discovering who you are. And, and I'd also like to talk about some people in your life that may have helped or, or that you see as an ally in some way. If any, like, could I ask you? Is, yeah. is that throwing you into it too much? Or, but like, could you talk to me about like your, how you came to like understand who you are? And Remove Odin not so. It's very, Every, every aspect of the culture. And by the way, Daniel Radcliffe is a superhero because the person who actually made him famous, J.K. Rowling, for writing the Harry Potter series, actually believes that girls can't become boys and boys cannot become girls because she is still more connected to reality than the actor who reads all of the words on the screen. It's directed at kids, obviously. That's what that is about. Cartoon Network is now teaching kids to use pronouns. They put out this little cartoon on Twitter itself. Gender pronouns describe a person's gender identity. Examples of pronouns are she, her, they, them, and she, sure. If you're comfortable, you can share your own pronouns, says Cartoon Network. Hi, my name is Cam. My pronouns are they, them. Wow, I thought there was only she, her, and he, him. No, you ignorant Oh, no, it says I'm Alex. Mine are they, them, too. <laughs> I'm Chloe. The pronouns that describe my identity are she, her. Cool. Let's be clear. All of this is just skin in the game. It's ritualistic obeisance to an entire worldview. And the more ridiculous they can make you, the more, the more ridiculously and deeply they can make you bow, the more they will have achieved victory. This is the goal. And they have achieved total political victory, by the way. It's cer certainly internationally on the left. You know, Matt, Matt Walsh's question, what is woman, has, uh, has completely uh, broken the brains of people on the left because it turns out that they actually can't defend any of their actual positions. Here, for example, is the New Zealand prime minister being asked what a woman is and being utterly confused by the most obvious question in human history. How do you and how does this government define a woman? Um, I, to be honest, Sean, that's, that, that question's come slightly out of left field for, for me. Um, the, well, biology, sex, gender, um, people define themselves, people define their own genders. It's all, it's all a parody. This is straight from The Office, New Zealand edition. Uh, bi biology, sex, gender. But what, what do words mean? What are words? Why are words? Who are we deep down inside? Why does New Zealand have, have its own accent? It's really just Aussie, but not quite. Why? It, oh, the, uh, yes. Even reality itself must be disturbed by the predations of the left. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's economic record is absolute garbage. Inflation continues to be at record highs. We still are having a slowing economy. McDonald's is now laying people off. According to the Wall Street Journal, McDonald's has temporarily closed its U.S. offices this week and has started informing corporate employees about layoffs being made as part of a broader company restructuring. Some McDonald's workers began to hear about the fate of their jobs on Monday. The company's corporate vice president of insurance said he was informed on Monday his position was being eliminated and he was leaving the company after 20 years. McDonald's is laying off hundreds of corporate employees this week, according to people familiar with the McDonald's plan. The Chicago-based fast food chain sent an internal email last week to U.S. employees and some international staff that should work from home Monday through Wednesday so they can basically fire people. So things are going just amazing. Meanwhile, Joe Biden, remember that time that uh, he said that the Saudis were the worst people on earth and that we should punish them and that they're just awful? And then the Saudis went across the street to the Chinese. And then you remember right before the election, the midterm elections, Joe Biden went over there and begged them, we really truly begged them to up their, their oil supply. And they're like, nah, dude, not interested anymore. Well, now, because of the Biden administration's idiotic actions in the Middle East, Saudi has addressed some sort of mild rapprochement with Iran, brokered by China. and. 
They're punishing the United States by cutting their oil production, which helps, wait for it, China and Russia. According to the Wall Street Journal, a Saudi Arabia-led production cut vaulted crude prices 6.3% higher Monday in their steepest one-day increase in more than a year. But with oil markets facing a host of challenges, including a possible recession, only the most bullish analysts see prices touching $100 a barrel soon. So again, the the, the fact that, that the economy is sinking is the only thing that is keeping the oil from truly spiking through the roof right now. The swings add a complication for central bankers, balancing the need to tackle inflation with worries about the health of the banking system. If crude prices continue to rise, they're likely to feed into higher gasoline bills for drivers, which boosts inflation, which in turn is going to generate higher interest rates, which in turn is going to generate more economic recession, presumably. Apparently, the production caught by the Saudi-led group showcased how Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is increasingly giving priority to a nationalist energy policy over U.S. concerns. Why, almost as though this idiotic administration alienated one of our chief sources of energy, and we are now feeling the cost of that. Why, it's, uh, again, well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of Joe Biden's own stupid actions. Let's talk about the fact that Joe Biden's economy, remember that time that Joe Biden's economy was relevant to your life? Because actually it is. Remember how that economy is terrible and how inflation has taken a serious toll on your ability to, you know, actually support your family and buy things? And it's also taking a toll on the stock market. Well, this would be one reason to diversify. Diversification has never been more important. The recent surge in gold prices is directly tied to an extremely volatile market. This is why gold has historically been a great hedge against the stock market and against inflation as well. The company I trust to help you diversify into gold is Birch Gold Group. I bought gold from Birch Gold because I would like a safety net for my family. You can do the same thing. Text Ben to 989898. Get a free info kit on gold today. They will help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in physical precious metals. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, thousands of happy customers, countless five-star reviews. Birch Gold is the company I trust to protect my own future and yours as well. That is Ben to 989898 today. Diversification is just a smart, savvy investment strategy. Everybody should do it. You should do it as well. Text Ben to 989898 to get started with my friends over at Birch Gold today. Let's talk about the fact that all of this stuff is very tiring. It's very tiring. And I'll tell you what is not great for your skin quality, and that is lack of sleep. So for me, and I don't sleep well, I get the big bags under my eyes, just something that I, must be a genetic thing. Not sure why that is, but this is why I rely on GenuCell skincare. GenuCell is helping you through these trying times to prove it. They are offering over 70% off their most popular package. Plus, for the first time ever, GenuCell is including both the Ultra Retinol and Dark Spot Corrector with every purchase of their most popular package. Don't miss out on their amazing deal just in time for warmer days ahead. GenuCell's Ultra Retinol contains a powerful retinol alternative safe to use on your skin in the summer sun. Their dark spot corrector helps reduce the appearance of dark marks and sunspots. Right now, you can get them both in GenuCell's most popular package. Producer Savvy, she just had a baby. She has not been sleeping much because that's what happens when, when you have a baby. But using GenuCell under eye treatment has helped her get rid of the bags under her eyes as well. Try it for yourself. Get GenuCell's most popular package for 70% off at GenuCell.com slash Shapiro. Every order subscription includes a luxury gift box with two free springtime essentials. That's two free gifts plus free shipping. Go to GenuCell.com slash Shapiro. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash Shapiro. So country music typically consumed by, you know, white people from rural America. It's like where it is the biggest. So you wouldn't think that the CMT awards would be, the CMT music awards would be like the the chief place where you would expect to see all sorts of um, all sorts of trans propaganda, and yet that is precisely what happened at the CMT Music Awards in Austin, Texas. According to the Los Angeles Times, Kelsey Ballerini drew heat and praise Sunday night after featuring all star drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race during a colorful performance at the 2023 CMT Music Awards. The Peter Pan and this feeling singer, who also co-hosted the fan-voted Country Music Awards show, sang her new ride-or-die best friend anthem, If You Go Down, I'm Going Down Too, backed by a quartet of drag race stars dressed as glam mid-century housewives, because there's nothing quite like not only promoting the idea that men can be women, women can be men, and that it is an act of good for men to dress as women and prance about in, in ridiculously parodic fashion, but also you have to hijack you know, all of the imagery from the 1950s and then use it against Americans. That's like the most important thing is to hijack American history and then trans American history. That's that's the thing that's really important for a largely white, rural, conservative and Christian audience. This is what was happening at the CMT Music Awards on Sunday night. Again, they will not stop until every aspect of the culture has been taken over. Ridiculous. I'm sorry, this is absurd. This is this is crap from the Hunger Games now. It, come on. This person is singing a country song 
while being surrounded by men dressed in ridiculous female garb from the 1950s. Just, just absurd. According to the Los Angeles Times, the live performance made quite the statement amid a brewing debate over anti-LGBTQ legislation in Ballerini's home state of Tennessee. With this year's CMT Awards taking place at the Moody Center in Austin, Ballerini appeared emboldened to broadcast her political stance while she is, what, what a heroine, what an absolute heroine. And, and the fact that, by the way, she doesn't get to make that call on her own. Presumably, it's the people who produce the CMT Awards and the country music industry in general that seeks to promote all of this garbage because they hate their audience. The people who run these corporations hate their audience. The very people they are supposed to cater to. They think that you are a benighted homophobe who hates trans people and you're a garbage person and therefore you have to be preached to by the stars of RuPaul's Drag Race, our great moral exemplars in Western civilization. The people, the most brave people we have been told by the White House are people who believe they're members of the opposite sex. Those are the most brave people. Small children who are confused about their gender. The most brave people. You know, we used to look up to sports stars, successful business people, mom and dad, your, your local religious authority. These are the people we used to look up to. But now the people we look up to are people who cross-dress and or pretend to actually be members of the opposite sex. And every area of the culture must be activated along these lines. Every area. All righty, folks, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into the mailbag. We'll answer your questions there, but you can't have your questions answered unless you're a member. Become a member. Use code Shapiro. Check out for two months free on all annual plans. Click the link in the description and join us. 